this video will discuss about tumor suppressor genes we discussed about molecular basis of cancer uh, in the previous video in that video we discussed only about the self sufficiency in the growth signals in the previous video we understood understood that there are uh, certain steps which take place for development of cancer of that the first step was for self sufficiency in the growth signals that is the oncogenes uh part this was covered in the first video now next going to the second uh, step that is insensitivity to the growth inhibitor signal that is the tumor suppressor genes now tumor suppressor genes they are a fundamental uh, the failure of growth inhibition is one of the fundamental alteration which takes place in the process of carcinogenesis like oncogenes what they do uh, was they drive the cell proliferation the tumor suppressor genes are equally important they apply break to the cell proliferation they stop the cell proliferation so therefore to for the development of carcinoma what has to occur is inactivation of tumor suppressor gene okay so there are many tumor suppressor gene out of this most important one we will discuss okay there are many tumor suppressor gene there is tgf beta there is e cadherin you have nf1 nf2 apc gene rb gene p53 gene there are many genes involved in human carcinomas okay going to the first and the very important uh, tumor suppressor gene that is rb gene also known as retinoblastoma gene okay it is also known as governor of proliferation indirectly or directly okay it is inactivated in most of the human cancers it is a important regulator of the cell cycle okay if you see this was a cell cycle g1 to s phase and then uh, here uh, important role of rb gene is there okay this was important checkpoint and here uh, rb gene plays a important role loss or mutation of rb gene can be seen in tumors such as retinoblastomas osteosarcomas and many more human carcinomas a very important uh, hypothesis uh, understood by the uh, retinoblastoma gene is the hudson two hit hypothesis according to that uh, there are two type of carcinomas there is a sporadic form there is a familial form okay so in the sporadic form what happens is the you have normal retinoblasts okay the normal retinal cells are there the normal retinal cells gets mutation okay there is a first mutation which is taking place over here then a second hit occurs and then retinoblastoma will develop so two hits are required in the case of sporadic form sporadic form uh, two hits are required in the familial form the familial form means the genetic causes okay in which the germline mutations are also there so here what happens is the person norm uh, on birth only has mutant rb gene in that case only one hit will be required to develop development of cancer therefore the carcinomas in the familial form are higher than the sporadic form then going to how rb gene acts and how it is the molecular basis of rb gene so normally in case of uh, normal uh, when there is no cellular proliferation taking place what happens is uh, the the rb gene is in a form which is known as hypophosphorylated form the phosphorus which is attached is less it is hypophosphorylated form of retinoblastoma gene okay normally there are growth inhibitors present there are cdk inhibitors uh, if you see my previous video i have explained cdk inhibitors and cyclins okay so uh, just briefing it the there was g1 to s phase okay so cyclins and cdks they will uh, they want the cell to go from g1 to s phase however cdks they will stop cdk inhibitors they will inhibit it okay so the cdk inhibitors they inactivate the cyclins and put the rb gene in a hypophosphorylated form now in a hypophosphorylated form what happens is the e2f part of rb gene is not released it, the transcription factor is not released the e2f and therefore uh, the transcription block is there the transcription of the uh, in the nucleus does not take place 
in case of growth factors whenever egf pdgf they are present in a normal cell what will happen is they will activate there will be cyclin activation will take place cdk activation will take place now this lead to hyperphosphorylated form of rp gene and when this happens they release e2f uh, transcription factor and then this binds to the e2f site and transcription takes place now this is in the normal cell which is taking place but whenever there is rb gene inactivation okay whenever there is rb gene inactivation because of double hit hypothesis or uh, single hit in case of familial cases okay loss of both the alleles of rb gene is there then what will happen is this will be constitutively inactive and transcription will take place also if there is in any mutation in cyclins okay any mutation in cyclins or any mutation in cdk inhibitors also they will also influence how the rb gene phosphorylation will take place so rb gene inactivation can be because of loss of activate loss of function mutation involving both of the rb genes alleles and second is if there is any mutation in cyclin d or cdk uh, activity which is up regulated or there is cdk inhibitor uh, down regulated so because of that also it uh, the cell behaves in the same way the rb gene will be uh, uh, inactivated and it will be in the hyperphosphorylated form and then it can progress to carcinogenesis this is your rb gene next important gene is the p53 gene very well known as guardian of the genome okay so this is again a very important tumor suppressor gene involved in every virtually every neoplasia in our human body now p53 gene is present on chromosome 17 and it is the most common target for any human tumor it is also known as molecular policeman it is known as guardian it is known as molecular policeman because it prevents the propagation of genetically damaged cell so what does uh, p53 gene do okay p53 gene it inhibits the neoplastic transformation by three mechanism okay there are three mechanism by which whenever there is neoplastic uh, transformation taking place okay so it will put if whenever there is a cell which is going into uh, it is not uh, you can see over here there is a DNA damage present in the cell okay whenever there is a DNA damage present in the cell what will happen is uh, it's a normal cell let's see understand first in the normal cell in normal cell whenever there is a DNA damage what will happen is p53 will be activated okay dna damage is sensed by some proteins known as atm and atr they sense the dna damage the p53 will be activated and now what will it do it will do multiple steps okay what will it do it will put the cell into qsense or senescence the cell will be uh, put into senescence or apoptosis will take place of this cell so this is how in the normal cell it will take place now whenever there is a cell where it is exposed to ionizing radiation carcinogen mutagens now in that cell what will, if it's a normal cell what will happen is the p53 will be activated it will go the cell will either be repaired okay the cell either will be repaired with the help of gad 45 gene dna repair will take place or it will arrest the cell in the g1 arrest phase okay or it will lead to if there is dna repair which fails it will lead to apoptosis so this is whole thing happening so that the abnormal cell does not go into a cell cycle okay so various things which can take place whenever there is a dna uh, damage present there can be temporary temporary cell cycle arrest that is known as qsense then induction of permanent cell cycle arrest senescence can take place or if the dna repair is not uh, done properly then apoptosis will take place so this is the mechanism by which p53 tries to keep the cell a neoplastic cell out of the population okay but in case of mutations or loss of p53 gene what will happen 
the d if the, and there is dna damage the p53 dependent genes are not activated there is no cell cycle arrest which is taking place there is no dna repair no senescence and then this will go into expansion and additional mutation can take place over it okay so this is your abnormal cell just revising it so what happens whenever there is a dna damage uh, it is sensed firstly by ATM and ATR, these proteins sense it. Then specific uh, genes, which are P53 uh, specific genes, they are activated. Uh, like you have Bax gene, this is an apoptotic gene, it will lead to apoptosis of the cell. Then GAD45 gene, this is a DNA repair gene, it will activate, they will help you to successfully repair the cell. Then you have P21 gene, this is a CDK inhibitor, it will put the cell in G1 arrest phase and successfully repairing the cell and putting the cell out of the carcinogenesis. So whenever there is loss of P53 gene, uh, the cell cannot repair itself and then uh, carcinogenesis will pr uh, proceed. This is a very important uh, your uh, important cell uh, mutation which takes place in virtually every human carcinoma. Now going to next pathway that is the APC beta catenin pathway. So APC beta catenin pathway, it, this is associated with familial adenomatosis polyposis that is the FAP syndrome and the colon cancer. These are the two tumors with which, which, uh, which, with which APC beta catenin pathway is associated. Now what happens here is, so if you see these are the cells, uh, normally in the cell there is a WNT receptor present, okay. This is known as WNT APC beta catenin pathway. So if APC is bound to beta catenin in the normal cell and uh, there is no proliferation of the cells which is taking place okay but whenever there is growth signal present the WNT will come and bind to the growth factor uh, receptor over here it will signal the cell to release the beta catenin the APC will move away and the beta catenin it will go to the nuclear transcription and the nuclear transcription will take place and leading to proliferation of the cell now in cases where APC gene is defective okay here the APC gene was protecting the cell to proliferate uh, whenever the APC gene is inactivated the beta catenin will be active uh, constitutively active and it can lead to proliferation of the cell so this is important in case of colon carcinomas another gene we'll briefly discuss okay there is a neurofibromin gene okay the neurofibromin gene there is one and two Okay, there are two types of neurofibromin gene. The neurofibromin gene, one is associated with numerous benign neurofibromas and optic nerve gliomas. Uh, whenever there is inactivation of this gene, this is also known as neurofibromatosis type 1. The gene is neurofibromin 1 and the syndrome which it causes is neurofibromatosis type 1. NF2 is also known as Merlin gene. Okay, and this is... Uh, in the neurofibromatosis two type uh, the condition it which leads to so neurofibromin one gene how it acts is what is its molecular basis is it is it acts on the ras okay the ras was the oncogene which we discussed in the first video so it facilitates the conversion of ras from active to in an inactive state this is the normal thing when there is loss of neurofibromin the ras is in the active state because ras is an oncogene this will lead to carcinogenesis second is the neurofibromin 2 gene that is also known as merlin so it is a very what does this do is cell like uh, lacking these protein so normally cell have a contact cell to cell junctions which are present okay whenever there is cell to cell contact okay there is growth arrest okay whenever the cells when uh, there is opposition okay if this, this is dna this is a uh, repair which is taking place whenever the cell will replicate whenever the cell will have a cell to cell uh, contact there will be growth arrest of the cell but in this case they are not able to detect it the cells lacking this protein are not capable of establishing stable cell to cell junctions and therefore are insensitive to normal growth arrest signals which are generated by cell to cell contact 
the mutations in nf2 what it leads to is schwannomas of the acoustic nerve so this is again very important uh, tumor suppressor gene so this was all about tumor suppressor gene very important to note that in the tumor suppressor gene you have rb gene and p53 gene which are the most important and uh, new uh, as uh, genes which are uh, inactivated in virtually every human carcinoma directly or indirectly so uh, you can ask your queries in the comment box thanks for watching this video do share with your friends thank you so much